Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. My granddaughters are here and they wanted a special treat. They want me to make them an egg each. So, here we go. Piece of walnut. Girls, say hi. Hi. Let's make an egg. The wood turning that I'm showing is actually the second egg. I filmed the first egg and started to produce it. With all the difficulties of the first egg, the video was turning out to be a blooper video. So I went ahead with the second egg, still from the same piece of walnut limb wood. This one turned out much better. The wood is walnut I collected when we lived in Texas. It is very dry. However, this limb is from a limb of the tree and dried without being sawn in half. Years ago, I turned it around and painted the ends to get rid of the bark. The problem that showed up time and time again was from the shrinkage as the wood dried. Since the limb was intact, the wood could not move as it dried. Consequently, it was like growth rings delaminated from each other. You'll catch glimpses of this as sections fly off during the turning. I had to use liberal amounts of CA glue to retain and fill the gaps and stabilize the wood. Even so, I think I had a beautiful piece of wood despite its issues. When starting the first egg, I had turned the wood round and turned dovetail tenons on this half of the wood. There was not much more truing up to do, so just a little on the tenon and a little on the circumference. Then I parted off the big end of the egg. My granddaughters were not very familiar with Gulliver's Travels, so they did not yet appreciate any jokes about big enders and little enders. Then to turn the big end, but first I stabilized the wood with thin CA glue. I used a quarter inch gouge and a half inch round nose scraper. I turned the rim recess with a half inch skew at first, but had to trim it a bit more after sanding the interior. Then I finished the interior of the big end and mounted the little end back into the chuck. Most of the tools I used came with my original lathe many years ago. They were old when I acquired them, and they're probably older than I am. The little end went about the same. Trim the surface, then hollow out the interior. Despite being the little end of the egg, the interior goes a bit deeper into the egg. I had to stabilize several sections of the wood with CA glue. After the accelerator was applied, it showed white bubbles on the outside. I used a diamond point tool to trim, turn the rim. Alas, I overshot the fit on the rim between the two ends. It was too loose, so I turned it a bit shorter and redid the area. So the egg's a bit, about a quarter inch shorter than it could have been. When the, once the two halves could fit together again, I brought up the tailstock to stabilize the whole thing while I turned the interior exterior. I had just a little extra wood to accommodate the point on my tailstock center. I had to stabilize the outside of the big end again. I used a combination of shearing, scraping, and shear scraping to sneak up on the final shape of the egg. Then on to sanding and finishing. I sanded through 400 grit. That's enough for this walnut with its grain and defects. I parted off the little end with a large skew with the tip under the wood. I did not want any chance of a catch despite Stuart King's promotion of the versatility of the skew. After parting off the little end, I wrapped the egg with masking tape and mounted it again in the chuck to touch up the very point of the egg. With a wood turning project of this sort, this is the sequence I followed. 1. Rough turn and turn the tenons. 2. Part off the big end. 3. Hollow sand and finish the interior of the big end. 4. Hollow sand and finish the interior of the little end. 5. Insert, sure the two halves fit together as desired. 6. Turn the outside of the two halves to stabilize, establish the overall shape. 7. Finish the big end exterior. 8. Finish the little end exterior as much as possible. 9. Part off the little end. 10. Finish the little end tip. An alternative would have been to make a jam chuck from the little end. For this wood egg, this is enough. I used a lot of CA glue to stabilize the wood, but in the end the egg turned out nice. I think I'll make a nest of eggs from different woods. Maybe that's a good way to use the short scrap pieces that always tend to accumulate in my shop. Well, here we are. Started out to make two eggs in closed containers. This was a tough one. Hadn't done one for a while, but the wood was really tough. Miscalculated on a few things like the tenon, whatever. So it's a little bit different. It evolved. It is a tight fit. So what is it, girls? Is this an egg or what is it? Ice cream. Ice cream? Um, a balloon. A balloon? Okay. Whatever it is, they can make it what it is. Mm -hmm. But one big problem remains. So far, only one. Well, how many do I need? 
Two. Two? Ah, okay. Well, here's one. Thank you.